a healthy off season. How does it feel to be here representing A and M and Media Days? It's a huge honor to get to represent the 12th man and the, my team and my coaches and just everyone associated with a and so it's a huge honor. Coach mentioned you haven't had really an offseason where you've been healthy through. What was some of the kind of bumps and bruises earlier and what does it mean to you to be able to, how have you grown being healthy? It's the best thing being healthy, being able to play healthy, work out healthy with nothing hurting. It's easy to go 100% every single day, so I'm just uh, thankful for that. What were Trey. some of the things that kind of bugged you the years before? Um, I had some... Uh, Coming off of a knee surgery, and then I had my labrum, so I had that all fixed up, and now ready to go 100%. Your health is going to be obviously one reason why the offensive line could be better. Give us some other reasons why you think the offensive line might be better than it was last year. We've got a lot of experience going into this year, so I'm excited for that, and we've had a lot of time to really gel together and get our connection strong between each other, so we're going to be fighting for each other, and we know each other now, so we'll be able to play together a lot better. As a unit, y'all y'all hear the, the questions and the concerns about the offensive line. What does that mean to y'all or how do y'all react to that? It pisses us off and it makes us work harder. We want to be the best offensive line to protect whoever's in the backfield and win games for us this season. Trey, uh, Mike Elko mentioned that this offseason has been quiet and that that's been a good thing for this program. Why do you think it's been quiet? What would you attribute that to? Uh, we love working in silence. We're going to get our work done. We're going to grind every single day. We don't need to talk about it. We're going to show what we need to show on the field for Notre Dame. Why do you think there's a difference now maybe as a you know, opposed to the last couple of years in that regard. I just think with the way that Mike Elko runs the program, there's no need for anything flashy, no need for any of the extra stuff. Just come in every single day and do your work. Is that a welcome change for you? Do you like it that way? Yes, sir. I love it that way. A new coach always talks about a change of culture, you know. What, what needed to change or has there been a change of culture? Did y'all feel like there needed to be one? Right. I'd say that um, for this season, the accountability has really been a big change for us. Yeah. For this whole past semester, we had many different uh, programs to make sure people were held accountable and people needed to be where they, people were where they needed to be and did what they needed to do. So, What's a specific example of accountability that you guys have improved on throughout the spring and the summer? We had a system where we were grouped into teams, and if you were to miss a meal or just anything late to something, then it would uh, be a ding for your team. And if you had the most amount of dings at the end of a week, you had a extra workout that was kind of a punishment workout so that was really a way to get people motivated to hold each other accountable and hold themselves accountable i mean how long did it take for guys to not have to do those workouts or are they still doing them uh, that was just for during the semester the spring semester so and what, really what was, involved? was it an adjustment for some people like this this that that level of accountability you know, was it a little bit of adjustment for some parts i'd say it, it took maybe a week or so to kind of Everyone was kind of like, after that, like, okay, this is for real. <laughs> What's involved in the extra workout, like specifics on that? The worst part is the uh, 500 yards of uh, plate pushes in the morning at 7 a.m. So. Did you do them in those shoes? I never had to do them. <laughs> okay. I, I <laughs> <my team> straight. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's pretty rare for a sophomore to be a captain, be at, at media days. What have, has Torian shown so far that, that proves that he's, he's worth that, worthy of that? I don't really see age on the team. I see players and I see leaders. So he's been a leader. He's been a player that's produced on the field. So he deserves to be here. What is what about him kind of exudes that leadership and um, you know makes him that, that type of player? In the locker room and on the field, he's just always vocal, always holding people accountable, holding me accountable, even though I'm on the other side of the ball. So he uh, he talks to everybody and makes sure everyone's doing what they need to do. Have you thought yourself? I mean, you know, as you go into another year, just kind of how. Maybe your leadership uh, has taken that next step for going into this season. Right. Until now, I've always been I've always made sure that I led by example. But now that I'm a captain, I've been trying to grow, and I am growing as a vocal leader and making sure I reach out to everybody on the team, not just the offensive line. Now that I'm a captain of the whole team. What's it been like working with Adam Cushing, and what are maybe some big differences he's brought to the table? I love Coach Cushing. He uh, he's really very detail oriented. He makes sure that you do that you do your job right. Even if you get the results you want, he wants it to be perfect because that's what that's what matters on the field is doing it right every single time. How do y'all sort of measure where you're at in terms of, you know, as an offensive line with the new coach other than just the sheer physicality kind of that y'all are kind of picking up the scheme? And what are things that y'all look for? Well, we have been doing extra meetings outside of uh, what the coaches allow, so just player-led because we need to make sure that everyone's on the same page. So I've been leading that. Some of the other leaders on the line have been leading that, and we've been – going at it to make sure everyone's on the same page, and I feel like we're there now. What kind of impact has uh, Tommy Moffat had? I love Coach Moffat and his whole staff. He, His workouts are tough, but uh, the amount of detail and the amount of data that goes into his workouts, 
he'll never overtrain you, but like the effort's still there and he demands it every single day. So I've seen huge growth in my strength, my speed, my quickness, and everybody too. Yeah, he said that y'all needed to get stronger. And is that something that was uh, talked about a lot? Right, yes sir, yeah, that's been the main focus. Okay. Trey, what do you think uh, Jamar Turner moving a D tackle could do? What, uh, have you, how much have you seen of it? And just what kind of impact do you think he can have there? I love going against Shamar Turner. Uh, he's one of the best D linemen we have, best D linemen in the SEC. So going against him, I loved it. He's gonna, he's gonna be a monster down there. But I'm just sad I'm not gonna see him on the end as much anymore to go against him. If Connor's able to stay healthy, what is what is he capable of bringing to the table for you guys on offense? I think the sky's the limit with Connor. He's gonna stay healthy this season. He's gonna have a great season. I'm just excited to see what he can do. They say all offensive linemen like to run block. You, know, you got Colin Klein's offense. You got the three backs, the four backs behind him. You know, what are you thinking so far about what you've seen? I think we have threats all over the field, and I think that our playbook and our coaches and all the players we have, we can run the ball, throw the ball, do whatever we want. We're just going to be getting yards every single game. Are, are there any of like the young, maybe a young player, a newcomer that's really caught your eye, or stood out as having a great offseason? Ashton Funk is an offensive lineman who came in recently, and he's been busting his butt. He's been playing all over the field. He's been running with the, with everybody, and he puts in so much extra work off the field and like in the, his free time that it, it inspires me because I, I remember I see myself in him as a young guy. So one of the usual SEC media days questions is how you go about choosing your outfit and right down to the shoes. So tell us where it came from and how you chose it. So the shoes actually my mom and my sister ordered for me. So. I went with the, they're a little snazzy sweet. for me. Yeah. <laughs> sweet, but yeah. But yeah, so not really my style, but I went with, went with it. So. It's a good look. What size? I appreciate is that? that. 15. Oh, is that all? <laughs> We're good. Thank you, Trey. Thank you.